Hello, my name is Hugh and welcome to my channel and my workshop. This week's project is a very special one um, and I cannot afford to get this wrong. I was approached a couple of weeks ago by Gav from Said I Woodworks and I'll put links to Gav's channel up there and down in the description below. And it was a strange request because Gav asked me how much I would charge to make him a pen. I thought, well, Gav, you're a wood turner. But for reasons I won't go into, Gav doesn't do pens anymore. Um, so he hasn't got any of the equipment. So he asked me if I would make him a pen and how much. And of course I said, well, absolutely nothing. I wouldn't charge at all. He's a mate. Um, we met up at Maker Central, spent a couple of hours together, having a bit of a laugh, walking around. I said, so what do you want? And he said, well, Gab gets all his um, medication delivered um, on the intervals that is needed. And the gentleman that um, delivers the medication always has a chat to Gav for 10 minutes or so, see how he is and everything else. Um, and they got to know each other quite well. Very sadly, Gav's father passed away a while ago. And this gentleman that delivers the medication has been very supportive of Gav during um, that traumatic time. Um, and it turns out in one of the conversations that this gentleman knew Gav's father. And in fact, they were really, really old friends. And this gentleman showed Gav some pictures of him and his father together, <laughs> one of them having a fish finger sandwich. So Gav knows that this uh, person is a practicing Catholic, and he thought to make a pen out of cedar of Lebanon. Now, cedar is one of the woods, uh, according to my research, that was used for the cross for the crucific crucifixion of Christ and the other two being cypress and pine and he said I've got one bit of cedar of Lebanon uh, left so I'll send it to you I said right well the only thing I want mate is enough to make a pen for me out of it as well because I've never turned Cedar of Lebanon and obviously his permission to make this video and explain the circumstances so that's the bit Oops. sorry Gav <laughs> that's the Cedar of Lebanon and I thought well it's a lovely wood and then I spoke to Gav and I said look um, do you want it plain or do you want it something else? He said, what do you mean? He said, well, I can put a Celtic knot in it for you. He said, but that's a lot of work. I said, it doesn't matter. It, it's not. He said, well, if you can, that would be brilliant. So, I've got that. When I bought it, was I was told it was bog oak veneer. Now, some of you may know, but bog oak is generally about 5,000 plus years old. So I thought that was quite fitting to make a Celtic knot for this pen. The only thing Gav did ask was the kit that I used was the Telemurphy Caltoy, which you've seen me use recently. And I have to agree with him, it is a lovely kit. So I'm sorry this intro has rambled on a bit, but I thought it was important for you to know the importance that this pen will signify because when I've made it he's going to give it to that kind gentleman that's been so supportive of him so let me get this to the bandsaw cut it up into a pen blank and set my segmenting sled up and I'll bring you back then 
See you in a second. Okay, as you can see, I've got everything set up. I've got my stop block here. I measured the width of that, found the middle, drew a line at 45 degrees so that the blade will go in there. And this stop block will mean all the cuts will start at the same time, so I should end up with good Celtic rings. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four on the end, and that's the order I will cut in. So one, two, three, and then four. I've already got my veneers cut up ready, just to save a bit of time. So let's crack on. ever stop before you get to the end so that it'll hold the blank together. Okay, so measure across there, which is the length I'm going to need, and then cut up. eight of them because two of these will be the same size as the kerf of the bandsaw blade so it'll be a nice tight fit the other thing I always do is I align the grain so that both slivers are the grains run in the same. And then thin super glue CA down the cracks. Now these are quite large so they will get a fair bit. And then clamp it together. and we leave that set for a bit then I'll take it to my disc sander sand down the four sides and then bring you back when it's time to cut number two and then it'll be the same process for this uh, all the way around for the four cuts so I will probably speed that up for you okay cut two Number three. And the final cut. Okay, so there we have one Celtic knot blank. There is one cut that was off. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to be too drastic um, but that's going to go in there now and then I'll be using center finding drill first before I drill the 9mm hole which is what the kit takes so let me get all set up for that and I'll bring you back lathe is turning at 620 One last thing to do now before I scuff the barrel and put it in, and that's to place it where I want the Celtic knot to be. So, there, and there. And the reason I don't 
cut it before drilling is that I can then place the barrel in the middle but also just in case you get any blowout at the back so I've got plenty of room now to insert the tube without any blowouts so let me get this trimmed off uh, tube inserted barrel trimmed and then uh, next time you see this it will be on the mandrel see you in a sec okay so it's all on the mandrel ready to turn uh, probably here's the difference I've got my mask and my full face shield on turning at two and a half thousand The tool was bouncing around here, so as you've seen me do recently, and I want, I'll show you a little bit of it, let me get set up for sanding. Before I sand, as ever, when I've got a dark wood and a light wood, I always give a coating of thin super glue just to seal the wood ok the super glue has gone off so as before using a, another pen blank just to hold it so just smooths out any ridges excuse the noise, dust extractor <laughs> have a look what this is going to look like lovely I'm pleased with those rings right let that dry off give me time to put some tape over here and then we'll put some sanding sealer on and use the the Yorkshire grits then and the Hampshire Sheen micro crystalline uh, pen tin as overcoat, hard wax stick. Now finally the Hampshire Sheen pen turn has overcoat the hard microcrystalline wax. Lays at 2100. Silky smooth and a lovely shine. So let me get set up now for um, putting this kit together. I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Okay, let's put this pen together. The Keltoy is one of the simpler ones to put together as well. Only a couple of parts. Yep. 
put the transmission in. Sorry if that was out of camera. Oops. Mechanism working. I'm dropping everything today. And one Caesar of Lebanon pen on a antique silver and antique cop uh, brass Caltoy kit pen. Kit from Taylor Murfield. Be with you in a sec. So, as I said, Caltoy, Taylor Murfield, Bog Oak, Cedar of Lebanon. Uh, turning it, it's quite soft. The tool was bumping around around here because the oak's a lot harder. But yeah, I like it. Love the colour. Gav, if you remember, I said my charge would be for me to be able to make a pen out of the cedar of Lebanon as well so off camera I did and that's this one again with the same exactly the same kit and I think it's lovely nice and smooth but I was thinking I think well your friend your father's oldest well, very old friend gets a pen I get a pen but what about you so I thought I know off camera I made another one. This time with the antique silver and antique copper. I thought, well, there's Mel as well. So, she's got one. So, I'll get these three in the post to you, mate. Um, I'll send them recorded delivery so they're safe. And uh, I hope the kind gentleman has been very kind to you enjoys his pen um, all that's left for me to say now is thank you very very much for watching if you've liked it give it a thumbs up if you haven't give it a thumbs down either way please leave a comment I read them all I reply to them all um, if it's your first time here and you've liked it you can click on my icon at the bottom and click all on the notification bell and YouTube lets you know when I upload a video which is normally a Thursday morning to all you existing diehards oldies as ever thank you very much Jochen Valjean um, not sure what next week's video is going to be um, I might try a little bowl we shall see um, but yeah thank you very very much for watching as I said uh, like it share it subscribe if you're not as everybody says all those good things and um, finally I'd just like to say please everybody stay safe take care I'll see you next week and well <laughs>